Good evening, guys. I hope that you are doing amazing. I have my cinnamon and ginger tea here. I've just come out from outside and come in from outside rather, so I can get it right. <laughs> and it is freezing, it's rainy, it's wet. <sighs> so I'm feeling warm. And I am coming to you with your reading. This is going to be for the sign of cancer. I hope that you are doing amazing. Sorry that I didn't get these out earlier. I had to rush off out. I've just come back from a play date with my kid, which was nice. We went to the movies. The movie was actually really good, considering it's not really my genre of movie. <laughs> but um, as I was saying to Scorpio earlier, like with a boy, kid, you have to indulge somewhat. He is introducing me to a whole new life every single day, and I'm here for it. I am. So... It was a different outcome than what we predicted, but I'm not a spoiler, so I'm not going to go ahead and spoil it for you. Mind you, if you are international, you've probably seen the movie already, if you've been to see it. But I won't spoil it for those UK folks, because it's only come out a couple of days ago, I believe. But it was a good movie. Anyway, let's get into this. This is going to be a reading for the sign of cancer. This is a love reading. I hope that you're feeling good. Hope that you are doing well. Thank you to everybody who has shown me love and support. I very much appreciate you. I am doing personal readings. Please email me if you are interested in a private reading. Okay, and I will send you all the details. My email address is in the description box. Black Butterfly Diamond Tarot at gmail.com. Let's get into this. What do you need to know about your love life, Cancer? Please and thank you, Spirit. Please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Cancer needs to know about their love life. This could resonate um, whatever placement you have Cancer in, okay? Please check out other readings if this is not for you. We're going to be taking a look at what is going on for love. What do you need to know about love right now, Cancer? Nine of Swords. Scorpio had that and they had the judgment card. As I say, Scorpio, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Check out Scorpio's reading. If you are, or you've got Scorpio in your chart. Some of you could have heavy water in general in your chart, Cancer. The Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands in the reverse. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. The Nine of Wands. Oh, wow. Whose heart are you breaking? Whose heart are you breaking? You could have somebody wanting your attention, Cancer, kind of pursuing you. This person could be very stuck on you. They feel left out of your energy. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Ace of Swords, you could be getting ready to hear from this person very soon. Very attracted to you. And you could be giving this person the cold shoulder. shoulder. You could have friend zoned someone, Cancer. I'm getting friend zone energy, I'll be honest with you. Cancer, I don't know who you are, but we're going to get into this. <laughs> and you're going to see why I say that. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a Shadow. Sagittarius, what is that? Please tell me what that is. A Sagittarius. No offense, Sagittarius. If you've got Sagittarius in your chart as well, you're dealing with one. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. You have options. I don't know who you are, Cancer. You have options. You have a lot of people who are wanting to be chosen. Okay. Wanting to you to give them attention. A lot of you could be feminine energies. A lot of you have got it together. You know, people could view you as extremely nurturing. Somebody who is about their business, about their, you know, whatever they've got going on. Bringing things into fruition and balance. You know, a lot of people could view you as somebody who's very work focused right now. Or just focused on kind of like creating 
the life that you want to be living coming forward here. There's something about she's sitting on a rock in this depiction of the Queen of Pentacles. Sturdy, I guess, sturdy energy, stable energy. This is what you're setting your sights on. And a lot of outside people could actually view you this way. I feel like you're making a choice cancel or you have with the five of wands in the reverse right next to the seven of cups. I feel like I'm talking to a cancer who've possibly been dating people um, and you have made a choice to kind of like sift out some of the energies that maybe you've been talking to or exploring your options with. OK, I do get an energy if you've been definitely talking to multiple people, possibly dating multiple people as well. Don't take it if it doesn't resonate. OK, don't come at me in the comments. OK, if it's not you, then it's not you. OK, the lovers card is here. A lot of you have been exploring options in love with the potential to kind of, you know, get together with somebody, partner up with somebody. And I feel like you're making a choice here with the judgment card and the temperance. I feel there's a decision that you are making right now that is going to be very beneficial for you. A lot of you have been seeking somebody who's very like minded, somebody who could be extremely stable like yourself. And with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like you are giving somebody an offer. I do feel like this is you. I don't feel like this is, you know, it's mutual. You know, you offer something to someone, they accept, you know, it is mutual somewhat. But I do feel like you are offering someone something. I feel like the ball has been in your court. And I feel like I'm talking to a cancer who has been kind of seeking out somebody potentially to get together with. I do feel like somebody is extremely worried, especially if they view you as 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 kind of losing touch with them or maybe not giving them um, the attention that you may have once done in the first place. I don't know who you are, but there's multiple people who want this offer from you. Flip the roles if you need to. I could be picking up on a masculine, but I feel like there's strong feminine energy here. Um, and there's an offer that you want to extend to somebody. And I feel like you've made a choice. I feel like you are making somebody extremely uncomfortable. This is a person who is very attracted to you. But also this could be somebody who you friend zoned in order to go in another direction with the Six of Wands. And I feel like this is you, Cancer. I strongly believe that this is you. Let's take a look. Tell me about this Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups and the Lovers card, the Cancer, the Star and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, what is going to be fulfilling for me? What is going to be making me happy? I don't know if you are on some sort of platform. Some of you could be, you know, have some sort of fame, recognition. Some of you could be known in the public eye, okay? This doesn't need to be, you know, your some big shot celebrity out here you know not no Beyonce you could just be very known in your community for something that you do you could be very skilled at something and people know that you do whatever that is within your small community this could be widespread. spread it could be international you could do something online maybe you have gone viral for something you know take it as it resonates but with the star and the nine of cups it's almost like the icing on the cake you've been looking for the icing on the cake to your world and for a lot of you it is love it is a relationship a lot of you have got the monopoly on who you will choose and I feel like it has a lot to do with your status a lot of people could look at you as somebody who's very affluential um somebody who's in very good standing somebody of high honor okay with the tower energy you know there's an energy of you hitting some level of success and you feeling as though well now i want to explore love this is what i see some of you this is with an aquarius but there's some energy here of you exploring your options to kind of seek to find something that is fulfilling and fits you and i see that happening for you i do see that happening for you the three of swords i'm telling you whose heart have you broken Somebody's extremely disappointed that they will not make the cut with you. Three of cups. Yeah, this is you dating them multiple people. I do feel like you've been exploring your options. I do. At least two people, if not three. You know, dating around, seeing what's out there, talking to people, getting to know people, seeing what fits you. I get that energy in this reading very strong. And with the three of swords, this is possibly why it's coming out this way. 
in terms of, you know, you've had a choice in love and somebody is not making the cut and I feel like you're making a choice. Tell me about this uh, judgment. Tell me about this judgment card. What is this decision? <sighs> the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're ruffling feathers right now, Cancer. Again, there's an energy of, yeah, Seven of Cups. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. Seven of Cups, that's you exploring your options, okay? There's definitely an energy of you exploring your own, your options, juggling, you know, seeing what fits you. And do you remember what I just said before I shuffled this deck, okay? You're looking for something that fits you, okay? You are coming out as the Queen of Pentacles, stable, self-assured, you know, about your business. You're a rock in your own right. Look who's come out in the other deck, King of Pentacles. But then we've got a Knight of Pentacles in the middle, you have options here. I'm telling you, you have options. And to some degree, I feel like you're breaking somebody's heart. I feel like you are disappointing someone. I feel like there's somebody maybe you feel like is not a good fit for you. I feel like you're looking for something that's very reciprocal. Someone who's going to be very generous. Somebody who possibly has a similar love language to you as well. This person could like gift giving. This person could be very affluential in their own right. Somebody who is a rock in their own right. It's interesting how that comes out with that judgment. You know, the decision. You want to be making sure that somebody is the right fit for you and where you are at. And there's nothing wrong with that. You have standards. I'm talking to a cancer who has standards. Nine of pentacles. And it's because of this. It's because of how stable you are. It's because you can. Wow. I don't know who you are, but you're showing up very, very stable. Very strong. Very, very strong. We've got the Six of Cups. A lot of you have kind of worked on your stability. You could have been um, a person who kind of gained success pretty early on in your life. Maybe you went straight into a career after you left college or you graduated early, something like that. And you've reached and attained some sort of level of success status for yourself. You're very stable in your own right here. And I feel like this is what's kind of giving you the freedom to kind of, you know, choose. And it has a lot to do with the status, the level of success and the stability that you've attained for yourself. You feel ready. I'm talking to a cancer who possibly has everything else in their life, organised, sorted, you're stable. And the only thing that is missing is love. And I feel like that's what you've been kind of looking at. Who is this nine of swords? The Four of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. This is somebody who you, you are not speaking to anymore. The Five of Wands, one of these options. I'm telling you, you've got people thirsty for you, Cancer. And it's like you're having to kind of beat them off with a, with a pole. You've got the Two of Swords. Somebody you could have blocked communication from or you stopped talking to. They're very worried. If you've stopped talking to one person and you're focused in another direction, you could have an earth sign that you're really homing in on, you're really interested in pursuing this person. And there could be somebody who you've closed off communication with, could be a fire sign, we've got air energy, could be anyone really. But this is one of the options that you've been kind of looking at, that you've been kind of talking to. The Knight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. A lot of you could have been approached with people who you feel was not on your level or people that won't give you what you feel like you can achieve for your future, which is that rock energy, that stable energy. Tell me about that Ace of Pentacles there. Somebody's really worried. The Fool, yeah. Wow. It's like you're ready to give this pentacle to the one who shows up how you you your future looking the world yeah a lot of you you have been online dating i don't know who this reading is for it's very very specific six of pentacles again there's that recip reciprocal energy you could have dealt with a connection in the past where you felt restricted like you were the only one giving as well and you had to turn your back on that with the three of wands The lovers, yeah. You could have had a connection in the past, which has kind of molded you to be this way. 
you are a person who has definitely rose their standards, risen their standards. And the thing is, you've put work behind yourself in order to be able to ask for those standards. Do you know what I mean? You know, that energy of, you know, you can't expect from somebody else what you are not standing for yourself. You can't expect somebody to come in and be this king of pentacles if you are not showing up as that queen of pentacles. You know, in 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 an ideal healed sort of energy you know you can't expect somebody to come in and shower you with the abundance you know the, the the nurture if you are not giving that in return you know it's just not the right energy and i see you meeting somebody that fits exactly who you're looking for i'm speaking to a cancer who is looking for someone specific especially because you've attained a level of success for yourself or stability for yourself and you want somebody to be able to come in and match that this is what I see, and I see you getting that, but I also see other people being pretty upset that you're making that choice because they wanted to be chosen by you. You're a hot commodity, two of pentacles and the five of swords, yeah. Jealousy over the decision that you're going to be making, jealousy over who you're going to be choosing. You've got people up in arms, Cancer. Especially if this these people know that you've been dating around and you're not you're not you haven't like locked it down with anybody yet. The King of Cups. Therefore, you know, your love is going to be going where you want your love to go. This is very specific energy. Let me see if I can get you another spread here. So I see someone making a choice in love, possibly towards an earth sign. Could be an Aquarius, doesn't have to be. But you've got another person here who's very worried. I feel like it's multiple people, though. This won't resonate if you're not dating multiple people or at least talking to multiple people. There's definitely someone who you're holding back communication from that you're, you're not looking to take it any further. Because you've made a choice that you will be um, pursuing this earth sign, possibly. It doesn't have to be an earth sign, though. Anymore? The Cancer. Death card, four of wands. Six of swords. The strength card. The devil. The temperance energy again. Yeah, there's some sort of balance that's coming into your life after possibly a one-sided situation. The six of pentacles came out in the reverse. You could have been extremely loyal to something that wasn't loyal to you, Cancer, in the past. And I feel like this could be the reason. This has kind of given me piecing together the story a little bit more. You could have had a relationship where you were stable in your own right. You could have been very much, you know, giving some, giving to something where you felt like it was going to be a four of wands stable situation. And to some degree, it possibly was. This could be a connection that you had to kind of build up the strength to move away from when you realised that maybe you were being shortchanged somehow or maybe you was the one that was being loyal and maybe that wasn't being returned, okay? Again, it's just about reciprocal energy. Whatever you're giving to a connection to be getting that or receiving that and I feel like you were in a situation where you weren't receiving that back. I feel like there was definitely an ending here and a transformation and therefore there's a transformation that's happening with your overall stability coming in here. I do feel like you've got somebody still in your energy though with the devil card. Yeah, the everything is fine. Somebody that you ended things with. Could be a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. Oh, that King of Pentacles came out again. And the Three of Pentacles. You have someone coming in. But you've also got someone holding on to you. Always the way, right? We've got the Devil Energy and the Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding on to your energy. Somebody very, very infatuated with you. This is somebody who you gave to. This was somebody who was un it was an unrequited love situation. Yeah, this person definitely still wants to invest in you. But I feel like you've kind of moved on. And again, here is that King of Pentacles that you've been seeking to work with you, to be on the same page with you. I see him coming in. He's come out in two different decks. You have someone new. Definitely could be an Earth sign definitely has strong earth and if he's not an earth sign or she's not an earth sign this is going to be a person who is about their business too this is going to be a person who has it together too this is going to be a person who's serious about building there's something about building that rock energy this is a person who's going to be very much thinking about the future laying down roots setting down a foundation 
in order to have this four of one situation with you i do feel like somebody else is here though tell me about that double energy the sun in the reverse yeah page of swords they watch you five of cups they're very regretful and it stems from them not being happy in their own life with the sun in the reverse could be a leo or a capricorn we've got gemini libra aquarius this person has a lot of regrets but i feel like they watch you and i feel like this is a person who's going to be watching you move on and this is going to be um kind of sticking the knife in with that regret also it's going to be amplifying that regret because they're not happy with whatever circumstance or wherever, wherever it is that they are at this time. And they're seeing this very clearly now. It's like they've, they've had an awakening about who you are. And it's like they still hold on to your energy. But I do feel like this is a person who didn't reciprocate. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse, just to check what that is. The Three of Wands. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person was seeking pleasure. This person could have been a thrill seeker. They were seeking you know, pleasures, things that were going to be gratifying them. This person could have turned their back on you to go and seek pleasure elsewhere. This is the reason why they were distracted. They were only thinking about their own gains, their own wants. This could have been a person who was definitely, um, they could have been into substances, you know, addictions, things of that such. With the three of wands, this definitely could have been a person who didn't focus, took their eye off the ball was waiting on the next best thing to come along. With the Seven of Swords in the reverse, this could have got revealed to you. And I feel like you let this go. And I feel like as a result of that, your standards increased with it. Love, hate in reverse. Secret accounts. That came out for Scorpio. Love child. My way, selfish, stubborn, arrogant, pride and ego. Illumination, truth, discovery, awakening. I, I feel like you do see someone for who they are from the past that got revealed to you. Fed up, romance. A lot of you gave up on love and this is going to be coming in when you least expect it closing this cycle there's definitely something that you've closed out some of you could have been dealing with somebody extremely childish not happy there's that not happy energy somebody from your past is really not having a good time psycho ex obsessed won't let go yeah somebody's holding on to you cancer karmic lesson getting readings mm. somebody could definitely be using divination to see what you've got going on and they feel foolish they feel foolish, but they didn't give to a connection. Moving on, letting go, loving you. Yeah, I do see you moving on. I do. Bottom of the deck, we've got reckless love, sex. This definitely could have been a person who was thrill-seeking. You know, everything else looked shiny. Shiny object syndrome. And now that shiny object is no longer shiny. It's like they look over at you and you're shining bright i'm hearing shine bright like a diamond so shine bright tonight you and i beautiful like diamonds in the sky that used to be one of my favorite songs rihanna shine bright like a diamond shine bright like a diamond um have we finished? Should I leave you there? Where are we? 23 minutes. Anything else Panther needs to know? I see new love here. Anything else Panther needs to know? Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. We've got abundance. Keep it a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. This is turning that pain into power. Okay. I do feel like to some degree, whatever you went through in the past has sharpened you. I feel like you, it has helped you to raise your standards. The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. And I do feel like there's somebody who is very tempted to come back after you. After realising 
that you are now shining because the shiny object they chose over you is getting tarnished. It's a cubic zircona, not a diamond. Meanwhile, this is what you have coming in. Somebody who's going to show up for you, be reliable. King of Pentacles is extremely reliable, extremely. Cancer, that is what I have for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, Cancer, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.